So when I walked into the screening for Dirty Grandpa, they handed me this and I thought, oh, okay, it's a matchbook because De Niro likes to smoke cigars in the movie. No, it's actually a condom. Dirty Grandpa stars Robert De Niro and Zac Efron and is the story of a grandson taking his grieving grandfather on a road trip when he discovers his good old grandpa isn't exactly as clean as he thought he was. So when I walked into the screening and they handed me a frickin' condom, I was like, I'm in for something here. <laughs> <laughs> Better prepare myself. There's good and bad in Dirty Grandpa. Let's talk about the good. For one, Robert De Niro is hilarious here. He does an excellent job, and him and Zac Efron have really good chemistry. They work really well with one another as a comedic team. Believe it or not, Efron plays the straight man, whereas De Niro's the more goofy, over-the-top character. That's not something I expected to see going into this movie, because I didn't watch any of the trailers. De Niro is the most foul-mouthed he's ever been in a movie. He's more offensive than he's ever been in a movie. Let me just say this, if you're an easily offended person, if you often find yourself going, oh, that's offensive to me, uh, yeah, don't see Dirty Grandpa. <laughs> because pretty much every single offensive joke you could possibly imagine is in this movie. There are times where that works because the movie goes for this kind of shock value and sometimes it's very funny and it really hits. And then there are times where it just comes off desperate and some of the writing does not work. I must stress the two main stars, Efron and De Niro, really made this movie mostly watchable. What I hated about this movie are a few very annoying side characters that get way too much screen time, like this drug dealer who keeps showing up who after a while just became very tiresome and I didn't find him funny at all. And also his story makes no sense. It's a comedy in which things happen that would never occur in real life, ever, and it's purely for the sake of a joke. It's almost like the story of this movie purely exists just to set our main characters into over-the-top, outrageous scenes, and it just begins to lose focus after some time. There's also a very annoying cousin character who's in way too much of the movie, and those two annoying characters, the drug dealer and the cousin character, just grated on my nerves so much. The comedy just fell so flat for those characters, and there are moments where the movie almost feels like a fantasy, and it becomes hard to have that suspension of disbelief when you're watching this movie, even though it is funny from time to time, because so many things occur that just make no sense. And it makes our characters feel more like domino pieces than actual people, all positioned in just the right way to topple over to get us to a punchline. And that's what the majority of Dirty Grandpa felt like to me, a string of outrageous scenes that sometimes work, but after a while just get so tired because so much of it just doesn't feel like it would actually happen. Look, if you just wanna go see a movie that will probably make you laugh, this movie will probably make you laugh. But if you want a more coherent film where scenes don't feel like just scenes that are set up like an SNL skit with a joke at the end, you want an actual story that flows and makes sense filled with characters that you can grow attached to and you laugh with them because well, they're funny and this story is funny, then Dirty Grandpa probably is not the movie for you because it purely exists to tell a bunch of dirty jokes. And while some of them are funny, the actual movie beneath all those jokes made no sense to me and the narrative was very messed up. I'm gonna give Dirty Grandpa a C. So guys, you may have noticed that behind me is a bunch of Tomb Raider merchandise. I also mentioned this in my review for The Fifth Wave. Well, that's because I recently filmed my review of Tomb Raider with Angelina Jolie, and that's going to be a hilariosity review that goes up this Sunday. It's my biggest guilty pleasure movie of all time, and I had so much fun talking about it. I can't wait to share that with you guys. I'm also going to be reviewing The Boy, and I'll have that review very soon. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.